yes. uh, three and a half um, years so far. Yeah. What are those projects you've been able to attract to your community? Not just the one that started because of election, the yeah. one that are back in the <laughs> Well, um, projects actually built a health center Functional? Yes, it is. It is. It was commissioned uh, along what I had a two kilometer farm, um, had solar lights put up through the, throughout the let's say, in the rural communities, in in Nikura Ward, in Ofunama Ward, uh, in Siloko Ward, in Ikoro, in Ogede, I, and all the like, complete darkness at night. It helps reduce 100 and... Economic empowerment. So now, yes. uh, uh, aside these ones that you've yes, done, yes. what are the projects you've done as it relates to well, em empowering them economically? Okay, that's interesting that you asked that question. Okay, what I've done, um, the first year in office, what I did was I empowered 150 female farmers. With ca cash? Yes, oh, yes, okay. yes. Um, mm -hmm. In my constituency. Because I thought that, you know, the best way to assist them, of course, was to help them, you know, with funding for um, their farms. Now, like I said, I've got 23 wards. Mm -hmm. and, um, and also, furthermore, um, helping students to get jobs as well after okay. uh, they've finished from, you know, their institutions. Because that's a major problem in okay. itself, finding jobs is a very, very, very serious problem we have in this country. Okay, now, apart from um, the, um, we asking the people of Ovia yeah. to send you back so you can be a ranking senator, the yeah. question is this, what House else, of House of Rep, okay, yeah. what else do you want to do for the people of Ovia Federal Constituency if sent back into the House? Okay, well, there's so much I want to do, and I pretty much like to do things differently. Like re recently I had a football competition and I called it the Assurance Cup. Mm -hmm. It was something that was supposed to happen like over two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, however, it um, didn't occur till recently because that's when the manager um, that was coming down to scout for mm -hmm. these players was available. Coincidentally, it was right, right around election time and I said, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I said, but this is one thing I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to try to do this. Um, and I had like a group of young boys try out. And ye yesterday they came round. We were able to get them their international passports. Now they're getting their visas. Wow. There are six of them. They're going to the UK. Wow. And they're going to be hopefully playing football um, at international standards, uh, international teams abroad and I thought to me that was something different and no. um, God is faithful because all of these young men came from different parts of my constituency and some yeah. of them one of them was even from Benue another one is originally from Benue but he's you know from uh, international teams abroad and I thought to me that was something different and no. um, God is faithful because all of these young men came from different parts of my constituency and some of them, one of them was even from Benue, another one is originally from Benue, but in, in Ovia. All of these young playing football in Ovia. Mm -hmm. um, one of them was an Ijo young guy, another one, um, you know, was from Okada, and I didn't even know, and so on. So they were all from different places. Wow. And, I'm um, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry to interject. Um, so with all of these young, young men, I found to myself that, look, if these guys are able to go abroad and be able to start off their football careers, they will be so to do as well with a lot of our young people. Then I wanted to um, send off some of our carpenters to Turkey. You know, time didn't permit, but I wanted to have a competition, which I'm going to do when I get back now, uh, to try and train some of our young men and invest in the furniture industry in um, Ovia because I think we have a lot of promising young men. However, there is so much that they can still learn. So I think Turkey, after Italy, is very good at furniture making and see what we can do to assist them, you know, and set up industries in my constituency. Okay. Yeah. Now, we're going to wrap, um, wrap up this interview.